Spider-Man and Nick Fury, what could go wrong? Hey guys, before you get started, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Now yesterday we got a few new picks of Spider-Man Far From Home, featuring Nick Fury, Maria Hill, the black costume, and of course, MJ. As of right now, Spider-Man, Nick Fury, and Maria Hill are all quote-unquote dead, at least dusted. But that's obviously going to change in Avengers Endgame. Director John Watts recently sat down with USA Today to talk about the film and the inclusion of Nick Fury. One of the more interesting things he had to say was, if Tony is like a supportive cool uncle, Fury is like the mean new stepdad. He went on to say Fury doesn't see himself in Peter Parker. Fury sees Peter Parker as an asset that he needs who is too preoccupied with a bunch of high school problems. Part of my pitch for the very first movie was bringing Nick Fury in and making him a mean substitute teacher. Alright, that would have been pretty hilarious. I love this idea to provide some contrast with him and Tony Stark. Tony was always kind, but a little firm with Peter, but Peter clearly thought he always had his back. Nick doesn't really have that going on. With Nick Fury being the main focus of his newfound mentor-mentee relationship, it's clearly going to change up the franchise a little bit. I do wonder if they take a couple of beats from the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, which while wasn't popular, did see Spider-Man team up with Nick Fury as a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. I also saw the inclusion of several other characters, which makes me go, hmm. What do you guys think of this role for Nick Fury in Spider-Man Far From Home? The gross part of it seems perfect, and I gotta say there is nobody else better than Samuel L. Jackson to play a mean stepdad. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like below, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.